We're going to solve two step equations on standard okay. nine. Remember your opposite operations. Adding and subtracting are opposite operations, and multiplying and dividing are opposite operations. There's actually a two-step plan, and the two-step plan is outlined right here. Write this in your notebook, please. We're first going to distribute with multiplication, if you have parentheses. Second, we're going to get rid of the large fractions with multiplication, only the large ones. Number three, add or subtract the term without the variable. And then four, multiply or divide the number with the variable. There's also four, times of, four types of two-step equations. Here's four examples of those four types. So write these in your notebook, and then I will go through each one individually. All right, the first kind says 2x plus 4 equals 6. The first step said distribute. There's nothing to distribute. The second step said get rid of large fractions. There are no large fractions either. What we're going to want to do is start with the third step. Add or subtract the term without the variable. That term without the variable is the plus 4. The opposite of plus 4 is minus 4. So I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides of the equal sign. That will give us 2x plus 0 equals 2 or just 2x plus 2. The fourth step says multiply or divide the number with the variable. So the number with the variable is our 2. Since it says times 2, we are going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1x equals 2 divided by 2 is 1. So x equals 1. And if we wanted to go back and check that, what we do is just substitute that term back in for x. So if this is our original equation, what we would do is we would put our answer in there. So we'd say 2 times 1 plus 4 equals 6, which is 2 plus 4, and that does equal 6. So we did get it correct. Problem number 2. Let's start with the first step again. It says distribute with multiplication. We can definitely do that because there's parentheses. So we're going to take the 2 times the x, which is 2x, and then the 2 times the positive 4, which is positive 8. All right. We don't have any large fractions to get rid of. Step 3 says add or subtract the term without the variable which is this positive 8. So we are going to do the opposite, which is minus 8 on both sides. 2x plus 8 minus 8 is 0 equals 6 minus 8 is negative 2. The fourth step says multiply or divide the number with the variable. So this number is going to be 2. So since it says 2 times x, we're going to do the opposite, which is divide by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1x equals negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So x equals negative 1. Okay, this fraction is a large fraction on number 3. Let's read the problem. x plus 4 divided by 2 equals 6. Since we have a large fraction, we are going to get rid of that fraction with multiplication because this had said divide by 2, so we are going to times both sides by 2. And we do that because 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 times 2 is 12. So now we have x plus 4 equals 12. Step 3 says add or subtract the term without the variable. That would be the plus 4. So we are going to do the opposite, which is subtract 4 on both sides. So x plus 0 equals 8, or just x equals 8. And if you wanted to check that, if this is one of the hard ones for you, you would put 8 plus 4 divided by 2 equals 6 from this equation right over here. 
So 8 plus 4 is going to be 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So that worked out. Our final type is the type that looks like number 4. And number 4 is a small fraction. Do you see the difference between that and the previous problem? We had a large fraction on number 3, and on number 4 we have a small fraction here. So we're not going to do step number 2 because that's only talking about large fractions. So we're going to start with step number 3. Add or subtract the term without the variable, which is this plus 4. So we're going to say minus 4. We're going to bring down x divided by 2. 4 minus 4 is 0 equals 6 minus 4 is 2. All right. Now we do step number 4. Multiply or divide the number with the variable. So here this says divide by 2. So we're going to do the opposite. And the opposite of divide by 2 is multiply by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1x equals 2 times 2 is 4. So x equals 4. And if you don't believe it, you would go and do a check. So you would say 4 divided by 2 plus 4 equals 6. And then we're going to see if that's true. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus 4 equals 6. And 2 plus 4 is going to give us 6 equals 6. So that's right. Our answer is x equals 4. Okay. Now that you've learned how to do the four different types, I would like for you please to try the four different types. And these align with the examples that we just did. Please pause the video, write them down, and attempt all four problems before you push play. Okay, number one corresponds to example one. So on example one, we chose to add or subtract the term without the variable, the negative one. The opposite of negative one is positive one. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides of the equation. 3x plus 0 equals 6. All right. Step 4 tells us that we need to multiply the number with the variable. Multiply or divide. So on this specific problem, it says 3 times x. The opposite of times is divide. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1x equals 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the answer to this problem is x equals 2. On example number 2, this corresponds to the example number 2 that I gave you earlier. What we did here is we had to distribute with multiplication. So we're going to take this negative 3 and we're going to times it by this x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Then we're going to take the negative 3 and times it by the positive 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 equals 6. Now we're going to continue following the steps. We don't have any large fractions, so we go to step 3. Step 3 says add or subtract the term without the variable. This says minus 3. The opposite of minus 3 is plus 3. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides bring down negative 3x, negative 3 plus 3 is 0, equals 6 plus 3 is 9. Now, the last step says multiply or divide the number with the variable. So we have a negative 3 times x. The opposite of times is divide, so I will divide both sides by negative 3. And I will get negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. So 1x equals 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So our answer is x equals negative 3. The third problem corresponds to example 3. On example 3, we looked at step 2, which says get rid of the large fraction. See that large fraction there? We're going to get rid of that by multiplication. So since it said divide by 2, we are going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2 because 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 times 2 is 6. Now, step 3 says add or subtract the term without the variable. That would be the negative 1. 
So let's add 1 to both sides of the equation. x plus 0 equals 7. So the answer is 7. Example 4, it says x divided by 3 minus 1 equals 2. This is a little fraction, so we will not start by dividing. We will start by adding or subtracting the term without the variable, which is this. So the opposite of minus 1 is plus 1. So let's bring down x divided by 3 plus 0 equals 3. The last step says multiply or divide the number with the variable. That would be this number. The opposite of divide by 3 is multiply by 3. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1x equals 3 times 3 is 9. So x equals 9.